When Harry Potter started, nobody knew that the sport of Quidditch would become popular among muggles. Now, over 150 teams compete worldwide under the International Quidditch Association. Two Quidditch fans at Emerson College realized that there was an opportunity and took off with it. You know, when we started, it was very ragtag. Um, a lot of uniforms were just like colored t-shirts with Sharpie on them or something like that. Um, we even saw kids like running around in jeans. Matt Lowe and Eric Wall realized the missing magic was standardized gear and sporting apparel. They were still having a great time, but there was something else that they needed, I mean, to get the most out of their sport. Well, both of us are um, athletes. Our whole lives we've kind of understood that to a certain extent, the gear you wear does make a difference. I mean, you don't want to go run cross country in a pair of jeans, and I don't want to go play basketball, you know, in a long sleeve denim shirt. Lowen and Wall started standardizing the snitches uniform. Then they took their idea all the way to the International Quidditch Association. They were hesitant at first. I mean, we were two sophomores in college with no experience, I guess, in, that, in the apparel industry. We sent him one of our first prototypes that was nowhere near where we wanted it to be. Um, and it ended up ripping at one of the tournaments that they were testing it at. But even with that, he said, you know, this is awesome. Now they have uniforms for every position, and their gear is sold worldwide. We've seen pictures of people wearing it in China. People, like, we have orders coming in from Australia. So, like, it's it's really a global sport, and we're, we're seeing that with the demand for our products. The student's business plan won Emerson's E3 Entrepreneurship Exposition. Emerson business professor Carl Baer has bought into the model too. It was clear that they were from the sport, from the community, understood it, had given it a great deal of thought before they even got into the program. Uh, and when I found out truly that this wasn't, you know, a couple of kids running around on weekends, that it was a sport that was global and growing, um, they latched onto an idea from a unique way uh, in a community that is potentially quite large. So I, I, I think it's a marvelous idea. Lowe and Wall are now working on a secret product for IQA. They say it's going to be awesome. But our immediate goal is just to, I guess, become globally known as the Quidditch company. We know there are other sports out there with a lack of standardized apparel. Um, and we know that there's a market for, for standardized apparel in those sports. The E3 winners took home a total of $9,000 in funding, legal, and PR services. Rachel Smith, Boston Chatta.